Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to create a Polaroid photo effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here I have a new document. I have two layers. One is just a background layer and the other is an image to use in today's tutorial. So the first step in creating our Polaroid photo effect is to create the Polaroid photo itself. So the first step is to go down to your rectangle tool and we're going to be creating a white rectangle so you can just make it any size. Then go up to your selection tool go to one of the corners of your rectangle and if you don't see these uh, points on the corners you can come up here and click show transform controls check that on and you should see them so click on one of the corners and that'll bring us into the transform options so what I'm going to do is right click up here for the width and height and change them into pixels and then I'm just going to make the width uh, 285 pixels and then I'm going to take and make the height 340 so once you have that done, just click the check mark to apply those changes. And so basically what we've created here is the card that the photo is going to be on. So we still need to create the area for the actual photo. So what we're going to do for that is create a new layer. And then we're going to go back to the rectangle tool, select a color of black, click OK. And then we're just going to drag out a black rectangle. So now while you're dragging, hold spacebar and that allows you to position the rectangle that you're creating a lot more easily. So basically we're just trying to get the same distance on the top left and right and you can use the align tools to get that uh, exactly right. I'm just going to uh, get it about right for now. Um, so once you get it in the right spot, make sure that you leave a bigger distance at the bottom because that's how the Polaroids look. Um, you should see a pretty good Polaroid uh, image going on here. So the next step that we need to do is actually give this a little bit more definition. And you'll see why we're going to do this. I'll show you an example. If I create another layer, put this at the bottom, and I'm just going to get a color, a foreground color of white, hit Alt Delete, and you can see that it has disappeared our um, white rectangle. And that makes sense because white on white is obviously going to disappear. Now, if you wanted to use this Polaroid on something white, then you would have an issue because it obviously disappears into the background. So the way that we're going to take and give this some definition is by going down to the little FX button at the bottom of your layer panel and go down to uh, Drop Shadow. So once we pull that up, you can see it's already starting to bring the background or the white rectangle away from the background. So the way that we're going to make this a little bit better is by taking and drop down the opacity a little bit so it's not quite as harsh of a shadow. And you can take and up the size and you can see it starts to come around from the edges and also the spread here. And then that looks like a pretty good shadow going on for our Polaroid. So you can see now it looks like there's an actual object there on our stage rather than just a flat rectangle. So that's also going to help uh, when we start to stack the images later. So what I can do is just click OK and that will apply that. And then one more thing that we're going to add to this to just give it a little bit more realism is if you ever look at something white, it's never completely white. There's always a difference in value some way. So what we're going to do is go back to the FX and go to Gradient Overlay. And that's again on our white rectangle. And we're basically just going to add a slight gradient. So I'm going to take the angle and make it probably about 45 or so. So it's basically darker down at the left corner. And obviously we don't want black to white on something white. So we're going to click on the gradient here in order to bring up the color. You can just click there. And then you can click on the furthest left point on the bottom. Just double click on that and it will allow you to pick a different color. So I'm just going to go up to something that's gray. Something that's near white but not quite white. And you can see as long as you have um, preview checked on in here somewhere. There's a preview checkbox. And as long as you have that checked on you should be able to already see what you have going here. So we just want kind of a subtle light gray to white. So if we click OK and click OK again and there you go. Oh here's the preview checkbox. It's back here on the layer style. So as long as you have that checked you can check the color right while you're creating it. So now you can see we have a nice subtle gradient going across our Polaroid. So we can click OK and now we have a pretty good effect. So what I'm going to do is take the black rectangle that we created and the white one and take and drag those down and I just held shift to select both of those and drag them down and put them into a group. And so now we can name this original. And so I'm just going to take and turn that off and I'm going to duplicate it by dragging it down to the new layer icon and I can turn that one on. So now we basically have a copy of the original right here and now we have this one that we're going to work with. So the way that we're going to take our image which is this image that I showed you uh, at the very beginning and take and put it into this part where we have the black rectangle is by basically taking this and dragging it into our group. Now once it's in there, it uh, takes and puts it right underneath all this stuff. You need to take and drag it up so that it's right above your black rectangle. So it should be on top of everything within the group. So now what you need to do is right click on it 
and go down to create clipping mask and you can see what it's already done basically it makes a mask out of your black shape for the layer above it so now we can take and move this image around make sure you're on that layer you can take and just drag that around however you want and that becomes the image that's on your little Polaroid photo. So once you have that done it becomes very easy to do this to other ones because we made an original copy here. So that's why I took and made that so that um, you don't have all of them with this girl in there and you can basically take this original and we can name this one girl real quick just so we don't get confused. You can take this original and duplicate that a couple of times. I'm just going to drag it down and so now we can turn this one on and we can basically take and rotate that so now you can see we have a little bit of a stack effect going on and we can turn on another one and rotate that one a little bit. So now you can see we have kind of a stack of Polaroids here and um, you can take and if you may have turned these more or you wanted to kind of have like a table with all these photos on it then you can do the exact same thing to put the image in there you just take and put it above the black rectangle and then do a clipping mask and you're able to get the photo right inside of the black area so this is basically the effect so i hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial i hope you subscribe rate and comment and check back next week for a new video tutorial thanks for watching